three pieces of advice to entrepreneurs. What would you, what would you, and how would you advise me? I think certainly uh, being focused on something that you're confident will have high value to someone else um, and just being really rigorous in making that assessment um, mm -hmm. because people are, tend, tend to, a natural human tendency is wishful thinking. Um, so a, a challenge for entrepreneurs is to say, well, what's the difference between really believing in your ideals and sticking, sticking to them versus pursuing some unrealistic dream that right. doesn't actually have merit. And it's, it's, that, is a, it, that is a really difficult thing to, to tell you. Can you tell the difference between those two things? Right. You know? So you need to be sort of very rigorous um, in, in your self-analysis. Uh, self um, I think certainly extremely tenacious uh, and, um, and then just work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. And then that, that, that all those things improve the odds of success. Uh, there's a friend of mine who's got a great saying about creating a company, um, wh which is uh, creating, try, trying to build a company and have it succeed is like eating glass and staring into the abyss. Um, <laughs> well, so, I mean, what tends yeah. to happen is it's sort of quite exciting for the first several months yeah. of, of starting a company, yeah. and then then reality sets in, things don't go as well as planned, yeah. customers aren't signing up the technology or the product isn't working as well as you thought yeah. um, and um, and then can, that can sometimes be compounded by a recession um, and, uh, and it can be very very painful for several years um, so I think um, frankly starting a company I would advise people to have a high pain tolerance new great entrepreneurs are, are born of every day um, and we'll continue to see amazing companies get built. Um, so, um, yeah, but I, but I, I would uh, definitely advise people who are starting a company to expect a, a, a long period of quite high difficulty. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, as long as uh, people stay super focused on creating an absolute best product or service, that really delights their end customer. And if they stay focused on that, then um, if, if you basically if, if if you get it such that your customers want you to succeed, mm. then then you probably will. Depending on how well you want to do, and particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So what what does super hard mean? Um, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company. Uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA and uh, we're, we're so hot up we had just one computer. So the, 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 the website was up during the day uh, and I was coding at night. Seven days a week, all the time. Um, and I, I uh, sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period and in order to be with me, she had to sleep in the office. So. Uh, Work hard, like, it, it, I mean, every waking hour. That's that's the the thing I would I would say. If if you particularly if you're starting a company, um, and I mean, if you do simple math, say like, okay, if somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100, uh, you'll get twice as done as much done in the course of a year as the, as uh, the other company. If if you're creating a company or if you're joining a company, uh, the most important thing is to. Uh, is to attract great people. So either be with, join a group that's amazing that you really respect, or if, you, if you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, all a company is is a group of people that have gathered together to create a product or service. And so, depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is, and the degree to which they are focused uh, cohesively in, in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. Like the. The ability to attract and motivate great people is critical to the success of a company because a company is just, that's, it's a group of people that are assembled to create a product or service. That's the purpose of a company. Um, people sometimes forget this elementary truth. Um, and so if, uh, you know, if, if you're able to get great people to join the company and work together towards a common goal and, uh, and you sort of have a a relentless sense of perfection about that goal, then you will end up with a great product. And if you have a great product, lots of people will buy it. <laughs> and then the company will be successful. Yeah.
But really, it's, it's pretty straightforward, really. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'd say focus on, on signal over noise. Um, a lot of companies get, get confused. They, they spend money on things that don't actually make the product better. So, for example, at, at Tesla, we've, we've never spent any money on advertising. Um, we, we put all of the money into R&D and, and manufacturing and design to try to make the car as good as possible. Um, and uh, I, I think that's, that's, that's the way to go. So for, for any given company, just can, can keep thinking about, are these efforts that people are, are expending, are they resulting in a better product or service? And if they're not, stop those efforts. Yeah, so so when, you, when you create a company, I mean, if you think, well, what is a company really? A company is a group of people gathered together to create a product or service. And that, that's really all the company is. And so you have to really believe in what you're creating and, and that it's, and, and, and know in your heart and mind that this is something that matters that, and, and, and that uh, the world ought to have. Um, and I think it's important to investors to, to show that, that you're, you're all in. And I think, for example, with, with Tesla, um, the, the fact that I invested all the money I had, literally, literally I had to borrow money from friends to, to pay the rent in, in 2008. Um, uh, the fact, so the fact that I was all in, I think, was hugely, made, made a huge difference to, to the investors um, to convince them to invest in, in, in Tesla uh, at the same time that, that say, GM and Chrysler were, were going bankrupt. Um, and uh, yeah, I think, I, think you, I think you have to show that you, you really care. Like it's, like you, you know, um, that you've got skin in the game and that it, you, you, you've given it everything that you've got. And then the other people, the company uh, will follow suit as, as will investors. I think, I think that's really important. And then I think that the final thing I would encourage you to do is now is the time to take risk. Uh, you don't have, <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't have, you don't have kids. Uh, but but as you as you get older, your obligations increase. So you, the, and once you have a family, you start taking risk not just for yourself but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time to do that. Uh, before you, before you have those obligations. So I would, I would encourage you to take risks now, do something bold. Um, you won't regret it. Thank you.